Welcome back to Juice and Java. In exactly four weeks, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are getting married. That's right. The royal wedding is on May 19th, and London correspondent Gabrielle Caracciolo is live with us from London, where the event is set to take place. So, Gabrielle, what exactly do we need to know about the wedding? Thanks guys, yes, I'm here in London and I'm outside Kensington Palace. We're back in November. Prince Harry actually proposed to Meghan Markle inside his residence on these grounds. And now in one month from today, on May 19th, they are going to get married inside St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, which is about an hour away from here. Now I went to the castle and while I wasn't allowed to film inside St. George's Chapel, I spoke to one of the workers and he was telling me that because of the layout of the chapel there's a choir screen and the organs so only close um, friends and family members are really going to be, have a good view of the wedding and some viewers at home may be able to see better than people sitting at the back of the chapel and Prince Harry is known as the more rebellious prince are he and Meghan doing anything unconventional for their wedding yeah they are doing a couple of things differently than Will and Kate the first thing is that they're getting married on a Saturday. Typically, royal weddings happen during the middle of the week. The next is because Prince Harry isn't directly in line for the throne, he doesn't have to invite political officials. They're opting out of that. So some political leaders may be there, but only as friends of the couple, not in any official capacity. Additionally, since they're not inviting the political diplomats, what they will be doing is inviting um, some people from around the UK that they have, have inspiring stories and they've been sharing those stories on Twitter. Oh, that's awesome. But sticking with the attendance theme, how many people are expected to go to Windsor and London for the wedding and what security measures are being put in place? Yes, thousands of people are expected to head to Windsor to, in hopes of seeing the couple on their wedding day. Hotels have been booked since December when they announced the date and location of their wedding. So of course security is going to be increased. Police are saying that anybody traveling by train, car or bus can expect to be stopped and searched. Uh, additionally, in London and throughout the UK, they are extending licensing hours for pubs so people can go out and celebrate until 1 a.m. instead of the typical 11 p.m. And lastly, Gabrielle, Will and Kate are expecting their third child any day now. Do you have any updates on the Royal Baby Watch and will she be able to make it to the wedding? any day now. The rumor is her due date might be around April 23rd. With her past two pregnancies, she did give birth a little bit past her due date. So that's any time in the next week or two. And it is believed that they set the date of the royal wedding with her due date in mind. So she should be okay to make it to the wedding. But of course, that decision is going to come down to how she's feeling on that day, how the baby is doing, and of course, what her doctors have to say.